CONCAV stands for Connected and Automated Vehicles. Now there's two components to that. The first is connectivity. So connectivity allows vehicles to talk to each other and to talk to infrastructure elements as well. The automation part is adding things like adaptive cruise control. It's adding things like lane centering or lane keep assist to take over different responses from the user. So EcoCar, what we're doing with it is adding some of the initial phases of that connectivity and automation. Argon did an incredible job as we looked at trying to incorporate cabs into this round of the competitions. And so a lot of challenges uh, always come up with trying to uh, adapt and incorporate any new technology into a vehicle, regardless of what it might be. But certainly CAVS Technologies has its own set of challenges. Uh, and Argon did a wonderful job of providing that assistance to the teams, working with them throughout the process of these last four years as they incorporated these technologies to make sure that they not only work, but work the way they're meant to be. Over the last four years, teams have had major accomplishments. They started by selecting and integrating a sensor suite onto their vehicle. This suite includes a radar, camera, LiDAR, and V2X radios. Data from these sensors were used to deploy a sensor fusion algorithm that was used to track target vehicles. Teams also deployed longitudinal control features like adaptive cruise control and automated intersection navigation. ACC allows vehicles to follow a lead vehicle with a full speed range. We developed this testing tool as part of a collaboration between Argon and the Mobility Innovation Hub at Hariba Myra. Uh, it's designed to use Hariba's DigiCab platform and we've pretty heavily customized it to enable some pretty interesting energy consumption testing. So we've used this in this last EcoCar competition to evaluate seven different prototype ACC drive systems across a number of different hybrid drive systems as well. Um, and we were able to successfully complete all these tests in a very, very short period of time. The Connected and Automated Vehicle Track is an, such an exciting track to participate in because it's such a it's a, such a complex problem to solve. We have algorithms that are fusing object detections from our different sensors to decide where a vehicle on the road is. We've got another algorithm that's deciding what how to make the vehicle move based on those detections. Uh, you know, we can stop for traffic lights. There's just so many different aspects to it. With automated intersection navigation capability, the vehicles use intersection to vehicle or I2V information such as signal phase and timing and map to autonomously navigate a signalized intersection. I put that on any yep, and it, it's slowing down a little bit because we're getting close and then it'll bring you to a stop right on that line there. The vehicle can come to a stop at a traffic light by itself and resume operation when the light changes to green without any driver interference. OXTS are providing high-grade position and orientation devices in these vehicles. The reason that we benefit from EcoCar is visibility for both the students, who are going to be the future engineers of mobility, and then also what we do for the world in terms of bringing safer vehicles to the road for vulnerable road users, pedestrians, and everybody. NXP uh, products are all the, uh, the computing elements. NXP provides not only the uh, parts, but also provides the enable platforms, the software, the tools, and of course, a lot of training. We feel very fortunate to be part of this journey uh, with the working with the universities and the students. I get to work on groundbreaking technologies that enable vehicles to be safer as well as more efficient on the road and this is just enabling a better driving experience for the driver as well as everyone else. 